Now I'm just doing this video because I want to um, kind of help Fastlast to see something here. Um, because of some war warranty issues basically. Now I just got this motor here from my Goblin 570 which I have here. Yeah, And um, the motor it basically is the KDE thing to focus yeah so obviously you can see the name for yourself yeah so just got it a few days ago was well happy install it now the thing that i'm finding is really really weird okay so this is why i had i think i just had to do a video to prove what i'm what i'm about to show you okay so install it um i'm gonna power it up normally so notice i've got the motor unplugged yeah Everything powers up really nicely. In fact, let me show you what setup that I've got on this, this Goblin. So you can see the servos for yourself. So I don't need to run through telling you what that is all about. This is the motor I used to use, which is the Scorpion 4025. Oh, come on, thing, focus, man. Yeah, so basically this is the motor I used to use, yeah? So it's the 4025 so let me show you the setup so basically beck is the griffin beck that i got right there gives up to 20 amps that beck um, handles up to 14s okay so 14s lipo i'm using 6s so it's totally not over volting the, the the beck yeah those servos take up to 8.4 volts so this is set up to maximum to give 8.4 volts okay great um the i've got a scorpion backup guard there but that's not really important in this equation um the esc is the castle light you just about can see it there's castle light um 130 amp esc i'm not using the beck from the esc i have disconnected the wire the red wire from the esc so you perhaps just about can see it here um you see that that wire that's moving that's the wire that I disconnected, so that little red wire there, yeah? I just put a little heat shrink over it. So that is from the ESC, so I'm not getting any power um, from the ESC, all right? So basic procedure, that's standard. This heli used to run perfectly um, on this Scorpion motor here, no problems, okay? Um, V-bar, full-size V-bar um, that I'm using, and yeah that's pretty much it that's the battery right there from the power 6s battery that i'm running okay so that's basic stuff now check this out i am going to plug the helicopter in and everything is going to boot up as normal okay so just fire it up obviously there's no beeping sound because the motor is disconnected because what's been happening, the thing has been burning up my servos, yeah? Well, I want to show you. So, everything is working normally, yeah? As you can see right there. Oh, I can't even get the radio into the shop, but you don't need to, you don't need to see that. So, that's all great, okay? Rudder servo, that's been working great as well, okay? Cool stuff. Now, what happens here, if... I am to plug that motor in yeah um, and then power it up all of a sudden you see it start burning my, my, my aileron servos you see a big cloud of smoke start coming out my servos now because of what's happened I have no intentions of flying those servos again right I guess most of you guys would not want to fly a servo again if you saw a big cloud of smoke coming out of your servos so I'm quite happy to do it again because all my intention is to replace those. I don't want to run them anymore. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect everything. I'm going to plug these wires in um, for the motor and watch what happens. Yeah. So bear with me because obviously I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. So plug these wires back in. I 
I don't even want to pause the video because I want you guys to see everything which is happening here. Alright, now, watch this, what happens. I'm only going to do it for a split second because it's, it's just not nice look. Come on. Check this out. Oh, for flip's sake. I'm trying to keep everything in shot here. Okay, and wait for it. See? Big clouds of smoke coming from our servos. Now, how the heck do you explain that? Now, I'm going to disconnect this motor again. And I'm going to even put the scarping motor on. So that's the reason why I took it downstairs. Scarping motor over there. And um, I'm going to hook that up. Now, in fact, what I'm going to do now, let me hook it back up again, you see? Um, motor disconnected. Let me hook it up. See? Everything works normally. I can even smell, I can smell this strong burning scent. This is crazy. See? So now I'm going to disconnect it, everything again. Alright, so now I'm going to hook up the Scorpion motor. Just bear me one bit, guys. Okay, so there's a scorpion motor all connected into the ESC, yeah? So just try get that down for now a bit better. Okay, so there it is. So now I'm going to plug it in with the scorpion motor. Captain, incoming message. Okay, see? So it's all powered up very nicely, as it should, with the Scorpion motor, yeah? Now let me take this off photo hold. You can see everything is working great. Take this off photo hold. Normal mode. Okay, so look, see? Motor spools, spools up nicely. As you would expect. No problem. So obviously this KDE motor is giving me some serious issues, yeah? And what I'm expecting from fast lads is that not only to just blum and replace my motor, I don't intend on also spending the money to replace my servos. So this is the reason I want I want to see what they're gonna do now, because it's really unfair for me to get a faulty product and having to go spend that additional money on replacing my servos where my servos are working perfectly. So this is why I'm posting this video. I want to see what you guys are going to do about it. I'd really appreciate it. I spent thousands of pounds with fast lads. I'm about to build a Goblin 700 competition as well. And if they can't replace my servos, sod it. I'm not buying nothing. I'm about to spend two grand in, again to build a 700. And if these guys are not going to replace my servos, forget it. I'm not really interested in dealing with you guys. So. I don't know what's going on. The only thing I'm thinking is that this has some electrical fault and it's probably sending the whole thing through the metal plate here which transfers all the way right up into the servos and causing some malfunction. That's the only explanation. I cannot figure this out. This is really strange. Any suggestions? I appreciate it. So I'll probably post this on YouTube as well or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right. Cheers.